Hi, I'm Steve Santoro with Luchon Electronics, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Sunata Pro dimmer in a multi-location with two companions. We're going to be wiring the Sunata Pro dimmer, but these instructions will also apply to the Sunata switch. We're first going to start by installing the main dimmer. This dimmer has to go on the load side of your three-way or four-way. Before removing your switch, please make sure that your power is turned off at the circuit breaker. First step is to remove your wall plate and pull your old switch from the wall. Before removing your old switch from the wall, you first want to make sure that you have neutral wires. These will be two white wires in the back of your box. Next, we want to tag the common wire with a piece of electrical tape. This will be the wire connected to a different colored screw. Once you've confirmed you have neutrals and you've tagged your common wire, you can remove your old switch. Now that your old switch is removed, we want to connect the green ground wire to the ground wire coming from your wall. Next, connect the tagged common wire to the brass screw on your dimmer. You should now have two travelers left on your wall. These two wires will connect to the black and blue screws. It's important to know which color wire is connected to the blue screw as you'll need to know this in the other location. In this example, we're going to attach the red wire to the blue screw. We're now going to attach the remaining wire to the black screw. Use the white jumper wire that came in the box to attach to the silver screw on your dimmer. Connect the other end into your white neutral wires. Once your main dimmer is connected, you could push the wires back into the wall and attach your dimmer to the wall box. Now that we've installed the main dimmer, we're going to go over to the other three-way location to install a companion dimmer. So this is our three-way location where we will be installing our Sunata Pro companion dimmer. We'll be putting it right next to a Sunata single pole that I wired in a different video. So if you have any single pole applications, click the link below to check that out. Next, we want to pull the switch from the wall and tag the common wire the same way we did in our previous location. In this location, this black wire is our common wire. You can now remove the switch from the wall. Once your switch is removed, you can now connect the green wire to the ground wire from your wall. Next, connect the tagged common wire to the black screw on your dimmer. Remember that we used the red wire in the previous location to connect to the blue screw. So in this location, we also want to use that same red wire to attach to the blue screw on your companion. Connect the remaining traveler to the brass screw on your dimmer. Once your companion dimmer is wired, push it back into the wall and mount it to your wall box. If you have a third location, we'll now walk over and show you how to install Sunata Pro Companion Dimmer in that four-way. We're over at our four-way location. As you can see, we have four wires connected to the switch plus the ground. We're going to go ahead and just remove the switch from the wall. 
Now that our switch is removed, we're going to take the ground wire and tie it to the green wire on our companion dimmer. Next, if you remember, we used the red wire in the other locations to tie to the blue screw. So we're going to use both red wires and attach them to the blue terminal in this location. We're going to tie one wire around the screw and we're going to push the second wire into the plug-in terminal in the back. Next, we're going to take one of the remaining travelers and tie it around the black screw. And the last remaining traveler will tie around the brass screw. Once the dimmer is wired, you can push the wires back into the wall and mount your companion dimmer to the wall box. Now that you've successfully installed your Sunata Pro dimmer with its companions, you can restore power at the circuit breaker. You should be able to turn the power on and off from any location, as well as dim them using the light bar. I hope this video has helped, and for more tips and tricks, and videos on how to adjust the low-end trim and other Sunata features, please be sure to check out our YouTube channel.